Hey everybody, it's Bruce with Board Game Impact, and I thought, why not do something a little bit different today, um, besides the podcast and reviewing a game, and review something else that I just picked up that's kind of cool, and actually it's two somethings. I was just at the game store here in my local town, um, so I picked up this. These are Foam Brain, uh, Foam Brain games. They do these little loot bags. Um, they make a lot of dice and some other things, but they make these little loot bags. This is their Halfling pack which comes with a mini and a plastic RPG set, which are supposed to be small, which are kind of cool. And then the bigger one, the mystery loot bag, um, this one was $25, and it comes with a, D, includes 12, mil, 12 millimeter metal RPG dice set plus a random enamel pin. So I thought this would be kind of cool to do here with you um, on this. So let's see what these are, what's in these. Okay, so we have got the Halfling Mystery Loot Pack, which includes one plastic mini as well as a plastic dice set, um, and then the Mystery Loot Bag that also includes the 12 millimeter metal RPG dice set and an enamel pin. Um, so this one five dollars. This one was twenty five. I got it at my local game store. I thought it'd be fun to open this on here. So I'm thinking, let's go small and then go big. Um, so I'll put this one off to the side for right now. I like the packaging. It's like a nice, thick packaging on this. Now I say that because I actually met my wife in a toy store in the Lego aisle, and we used to actually figure out which Lego minifigures were in the little packages like this. So I was definitely trying to figure out, and it's definitely hard to tell what's in here. Like you feel some things, but it's much thicker than the Lego minifigure bags. So let's rip it open. Rip super easy unlike the Lego minifigure bags. And let's pour it out. This is called the Halfling Pack. Oh, it doesn't want to just pour out because it's in a little bag. Okay, cool. Oh my God, look how tiny these are. I need to open this. Um, so these are so small. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh, yeah, these are really cool. For $5, this is a very cool little purple dice set that I now have that are, would be super easy to take around places then. That's cool. Okay, but apparently also included, nope, it did not include a mini. Sorry about that. It was just a small dice set. That, that was me, that was me. So I includes one, I, when I, I guess I read this wrong, I'm sorry. It includes one plastic mini RPG dice set. Um, so yeah, so that's on me. So learning moment, it's just a little RPG dice set. And honestly, these are good for $5. This is a good little dice set for $5 because honestly they feel pretty pretty comfortable. Um, the hardest one to pick up is that D4, which makes sense, but they're super fun to roll. Let's see what this first D20 roll is. It's a 13. I don't know if that's good or bad for the die, but it is a 13 this first time. But I like them. It's cool. Okay, now the bigger one is also purple, uh, but again, you never know the color of what's gonna be in here or the design. Um, this is really clever of them to do it like this so that way they're able to use some different product lines that um, maybe are good and or maybe some that are okay uh, and might not be selling as well, mixed in with other ones, so you never know what you're gonna get. So, but this one was $25. Um, so it includes a 12 millimeter metal RPG die set and then one enamel pin. This, they are bigger. I definitely feel the pin. The pin feels huge. I can feel the pin right here. It's huge. So we'll see what's in here. Ugh. Again, opens super easy. And the dice set looks like I got like a pewter looking set. Are these in, they are in individually wrapped bags each. Wow, that's interesting. Um, okay, so actually I have the D20 in my hand. Man, this is a tiny little zip. Look at the Ziploc. Look at this. open this. It barely is going to fit out of here. So mine doesn't have much detail, but it's kind of cool. It's like a plate metal, like a, almost like a, a knight's armor kind of metal. Here's the 20. Come on. There we go. I'm trying to get it in focus for you. There we go. So it's cool. I like it. Um, this is a cool set. Let me let me get all these open. I will say this is probably something I don't necessarily like about it, but I understand for the metal side, because these little baggies are thick. The metal, they'd probably damage each other, and that's why they're all in their own little baggies, but from an economical, from economical standpoint, sorry, it is kind of seeing this much tiny plastic. 
but they feel good. They feel cool. They're very heavy. And one more to go after this one, and then I'll pull out that enamel pin. Ah. Probably just fast forward through all this. Um, okay, yeah, whoa, that is, that is heavy. That's a weight to it, that's, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, so this one rolled a natural one the first time. Uh, <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, I think they're cool, I think these, these dice are cool. Uh, let me see what this enamel pin is. It is a purple meeple. This will go, this is gonna go with these dice. Let me open this up. And this enamel pin is absolutely just gonna always and forever stay with, ironically, with these. Um, so I'm gonna put these all together and then these over here because I think this makes a lot more sense. But that's what we're looking at with the mystery loot bag and the halfling mystery loot bag. I really like this halfling mystery loot bag. I, yes, I was wrong. I thought it included a mini as well. That's on me. But I really, I like these little purple dice. Uh, they're, they make me happy. So let's, let's go back to the table. So I just finished showing you the contents of the halfling miniature dice bag um, and the, just the regular mystery loot bag. This one was $5. This one was $25. The small bag got us this nice cool set of uh, purple dice, these miniature D20s, uh, not just miniature D20s, but a whole miniature RPG line. I think it's perfect for having in my little player area. It takes up almost no room whatsoever. It's real easy to identify that it's mine. Obviously, you don't know what color you're going to get or those kind of things, but these little dice are pretty perfect. Now, I wouldn't necessarily get this if I had small little ones running around or animals that might get into things because it's there's definitely some choking hazards with these, and they do put that warning on the box, on the bag. Um, but I like them a lot. I think I would definitely pick up another pack of these for $5 if I see it, if I'm at a convention or something and I see a pack of mystery dice. Sure, five bucks, go ahead. This other set, though, the mystery loot, the $25 bag, and I will say there is a $10 one. My store just didn't have that at the time. Um, this $10 set, I think it's a cool, almost like pewter dice set. Um, it kind of has that look and feel to it. Definitely like medieval kind of look. I like them. I think I don't have any other dice that are like them. Um, and it also did include this, ironically, a purple meeple. And that's going to now forever stay with this miniature dice set. Uh, because it's purple going with the purple. Like they're the exact color. Like it's just serendipitous that that happened. I like that a lot. That said though... Although I like metal dice, and I do think these ones are probably much better to roll on the table than my bigger ones that make a thud and almost damage my table, I can roll these over and over again, and that's pretty good. But it did roll that first time a natural one, I, interestingly. Um, so I think, personally, for me, I'd be a little wary with the $25 one. However, I think this would make a really cool stocking stuffer. But if you're already doing a stocking stuffer, I might look at that the $10 bag and the $5 bag, and you can get them for a whole, like four family members for the $5, for the $20, for five members for the $25 that you spent here, if you like miniature dice. Now, the bigger dice, the $25 ones, this is not a full, like regular D20 size. Like that is, this is smaller than that. It's about a half step between these miniature dice and then a full D20 typical. Um, I'm very interested to see that $10 bag when my store has it. I'll do another one of these so that way we can see what that looks like because, hey, extra dice floating around, that's cool. But I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it's helpful. That's why we do this is to see what, share what gaming experiences we're having for the benefit of your gaming group using our educational-based lenses. And so if you like this kind of content and us talking about some of this in kind of deep dive fashion, um, please make sure to subscribe to us on here on Facebook and on YouTube, wherever you happen to be watching this. Um, definitely hit that like button, but more importantly, please also share it with others and encourage others to consume the content too, because we want to make an impact for them and their gaming group as well. So you have an amazing time. Go make your positive impact on the world.